to La Liga then on Saturday. More goals expected because Rio Vallecano are taking on Las Palmas Viecas on Saturday evening. Uh, I think Rio have recovered very well since their 10-2 humbling at Real Madrid. Uh, they gave Atletico Madrid a, re a real tough game at the Vicente Calderon in the capital just after that game. And since then they've won one, drawn three and lost one of their previous five. Played very well in the patches for most of those games. Uh, they're still in the relegation zone though, but they can leapfrog Las Palmas this weekend and move out of the relegation zone with, with three points. Goals, as it tend to be with Rio, um, are the order of the day. Eight of their 11 games at Vallecas have featured over three, over 2.5 goals, as have nine of the last 10 anywhere. Uh, and weirdly, well not weirdly actually, impressively, 23 of their last 34 home games uh, against bottom half teams have actually seen over 2.5 goals. That's a 78% success rate. They've only failed to score in six of those matches too. Um, over 2.5 goals is 1.75 here. Uh, Las Palmas are just as good and profitable in the goals markets as well. Since promotion to the back to the top flight, they failed to keep a clean sheet on their travels. Uh, they've scored in seven of their ten away games, including in against, uh, including in the Camp Nou, the Bernabeu, San Mamés, uh, and Celta Vigo as well. So they should be capable of grabbing a goal here. Uh, only Real Madrid are averaging more shots on target away from home than Las Palmas, so that are actually averaging more shots on target per game than Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. Seven of their ten away games have featured three or more goals. Six of those have actually featured four or more goals. So, goals on the agenda there.